What's going on, man? This is Irv Daddy from Street Royalty TV, live on location today. I'm out here with my Honda 929RR race ready. I'm getting ready to change my rear sprocket right now. I got a Vortex aluminum sprocket on there. Got a 520 conversion, so I got my 520 sprocket on there right now, but I don't know if you can see it or not, but leader bikes eat up the teeth on the uh, aluminum sprockets man it's my second one i didn't have to change so i'm not going with the aluminum sprocket this time i'm going with a black steel vortex rear sprocket got all of my tools laid out right here this is all you need to uh to change everything whether you're doing a 520 sprocket or a 530 sprocket that comes on there normally don't make much of a difference since i don't have the uh the fancy uh jack tools for the rear I'm going to use my two jack stands and I am going to use my jack as you can see 929RR nice fully polished chrome wheels this shouldn't take us very long to get this knocked out so we're going to get on it right now okay as you can see I got it jacked up now I got the jack placed under the bottom I got both of these jacks placed under the peg so I can hold it up in place when I take the wheel off got the wheel off the ground so uh, you don't need to have one of those expensive jacks. You just need a little somebody to help you out when it's time to jack the bike up and everything and get it secure. Then uh, take off the big bolt right here. And uh, after to get this off, you'll pull this out the other side over there. Then the wheel will be able to drop and loosen off and you can take that out of there. You're also going to have to loosen these up right here so the chain will loosen up enough for you to be able to, uh, to uh, pull, it on, uh, pull it out of place and everything. So you'll be in a good situation once you get that done all right as you can see I just got done using my 32 millimeter socket we took the uh, 32 millimeter we pulled it off after we pulled it off we actually got your uh, adjuster off that'll fit right there so you can kind of match up you can match up on both sides how many notches you came back so that you can keep your wheel even and keep the the chain tight the right way so now that we got this out of here I've loosened this up right here on both sides so that the wheel will slide forward and I'll be able to take the chain out. We'll push this out and then we'll be able to remove the wheel. So, uh, you know, just stay tight and we're going to get this all knocked out. We'll show you what it looks like when the wheel off. And another thing that I do before I take it off is I actually loosen these up. I loosen the sprocket up right here so when, it's, when I actually get it off, it's easier for me to remove the bolts. So I kind of loosen Okay, now what I do since I got a polished frame, obviously if you're trying to take the bolts off, the wheel is going to spin. So I'll take this, put it up close to the frame, and since mine is polished and I don't want to get any uh, scratches or blemishes on it, I'll push it up against the back of the actual uh, swing arm itself, and then I can give it a, you know, a kind of a tough tap, and then I'm able to loosen those up while I actually still got it on the bike. makes it a little bit easier. As you can see, now we got the wheel off. Got the wheel off of the back. All right, got the wheel sitting over here on the side, and we have the very eight up sprocket. Look at the teeth. Teeth are in horrible condition. So we got those off, and since we already kind of got these bolts loosened up, we can just take the bolts off, put on a new, uh, put on the new sprocket over here, and we'll be in a good situation. So we got everything off right now. All right, now. We got it back on. I'm about to go ahead and take the jacks off, put it back on the ground, take it for a test run. But that is the way that you install a rear sprocket. And again, if you can't work on your own bike, don't call yourself a rider. I'm Irv Daddy from Street Royalty TV. I'm always take you where you want to be, let you see what you need to see from Street Royalty TV. This is Irv Daddy, how to replace a rear 520 sprocket on a Honda. 929 2001 RR. Follow me.